Hi guys! So I thought it might be fun today to show you how I write a second voice for my choir. Uh, the thing is, with most uh, traditional Dutch songs, um, you're lucky to find cheap music. And when you find it, it mostly is one voice and not written for choir. But in the minds of people who have been singing it for years and years, there Mo uh, there, there is a second voice most of the time and um, this is how we uh, do that. So I have my iPhone and at rehearsal I give it to uh, Solid Alto and they record um, the way they have the second voice in their head for me. So that sounds like this. <laughs> And no, um, that doesn't always sound the best as they could be, just because they're, um, if only because they are really trying hard to um, let me know what the right notes are. So, I listen to the recording and I try on the piano um, what, note, uh, what, no what notes they are. So, what you just heard was so I know the notes now and I can write them down so like I did here Betsy ik hoor toch bij jou so that's the easy part but uh, most of the time they only have the second voice in their head for the refrain and not for the couplet so I have to th uh, figure it, that one out and um, most of the time I do it like this. So I start a new recording on the iPhone and I record the original voice. Vlak bij de haven staan heel oude huizen. Somber en donker, bouwvallig en koud. Daar woont een meisje, ze noemen haar Betsy. Zij is het meisje dat veel van me houdt. So, now I have that on my phone, so I can play it whenever I want to like this so that works now let's see if we can make a second voice and first we try it on the piano so that sounds about right but let's try it with the singing. You'll hear me speaking before so I can go at the right moment. Vlak bij de haven staan heel oude huizen Somber en donker, bouwvallig en koud So, that's working. So, that I can write down. And that's how we make a second voice for the choir. Okay, so hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye!